I approved for our uh, cable two-arm row to a single arm eccentric. Basically, this is the two-to-one method. Okay, we're going to set up in front of a cable row machine. You can be on the ground, you can be on a bench, however your cable row machine is at your gym. Okay, we're going to grab a V handle is probably best. You're going to row to your chest, making sure you have a good stack of thorax on top of pelvis. So nothing too extended, obviously nothing too flex. You want to let the shoulder blades wrap around the rib cage, so they're moving back towards your spine when you're pulling, and letting the uh, shoulder blades wrap around your spine, get a good stretch as you're going towards the cable machine. Okay, so you're going to pull back with two, get super tight. I like to put my free hand on my rib cage just so it doesn't like fall or uh, pop up on me, and then slowly resist that for a three to five count, whatever I give you in your program. Get to that good stretch, put the other hand back on, and pull it back. You can use, if you have trouble sitting in this position where your pelvis tucks under, we'll have to work on that. But in the meantime, you can kind of hack it by just sitting on a plate at the gym, like a 10 pound plate or something small, or, or like a, a yoga, what do you call it, yoga mat, or even like this foam here. But you want to sit on the front edge of it so it dumps your pelvis a little bit more forward so you can kind of control the pelvis where you want it, okay? So again, if, if you are somebody kind of in this like flex posture, you can kind of sit on the front edge of that and get a little bit more upright to help you stay in a good spinal alignment throughout the course of the exercise. Guys, that is your two-arm cable row to a one-arm eccentric. It's essentially the two-to-one method.